Hi there, this is Kathy Crow. Thank you so much for joining me here at the Crow Cottage. And it is a pleasure to have you. We will have one chime. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Good timing though. I'm actually here right on time today. That's kind of nice for change. It is a one, it's one o'clock CST. This is Central um, Standard Time, Chicago time. Although I live in Springfield, Missouri and we love it. It is beautiful here today. Oh, so nice. Tomorrow may be snow, but today, no, no, no. It is sunny and bright until they said about four o'clock. So I have a beautiful day ahead, and I hope you do too wherever you are. All right, today I am going to be doing Friendly Gnomes. This, hi, Andy. It's so nice to see you, and thank you for joining me. And you are always so good about sharing, and that reminds me. I need to see if I can find myself here on... <laughs> I kind of forgot to even get to my page. I just sort of stuck it up over here on the side and didn't even... But I, I have to do this, because as soon as I put this down... Uh, why won't it let me... It won't let me see me there. I know I'm there somewhere, but it won't let me. Come on, come on. There you go. Okay. So now I can see. Yes, it is Monday. Happy Monday to you too. And it is so nice to see you. And I hope you have a good good day planned ahead for you. No wind. No wind. <laughs> um, You know, today I am doing friendly gnomes. Oh boy, I've even got some... It looks like from our from the DSP from the other from the Christmas paper. I've got some mushrooms all cut out and ready that I stuck in here because I don't think I got kindest gnomes. Now, kindest gnomes I still have planned to purchase at some point, but I haven't done it yet and I was so glad that I hadn't because when this one came out um, I like it better. I can see their cute little eyes and I like to see faces. I don't really like to see just a hairy nose <laughs> and it has a mushroom on it a cute squirrel cute little birds I like this one better so I have if you go and this one's perfect for valentine's because look at that there's this cute little valentine heart holding gnome so that's why I'm using it today I didn't buy did I buy any valentine sets I don't know if I did I've got out my old heartfelt this is one of my favorites. It's a photopolymer one from a couple of years ago. Came with a heart punch, and I think we got a ton of paper with celebration that year. So I have a bunch of that paper. That's what I'll be using. This called Sweet Talk is what that paper was called. So if you see any Valentine's paper, that's what it's going to be. And um, Country Bouquet is our Valentine heart series this year, and it's cute, but I haven't got it yet. I might at some point, but I just haven't yet. And um, it has enough really pretty floral stuff that it'll probably tempt me later. The Sweet Talk was pretty much just hearts. So I don't know if other people liked it as much as I did, but I really liked it. And I bought a bunch or got a bunch. I don't remember if it was a freebie with our celebration, which reminds me, don't forget, right now we have celebration on. Please join our team. I would love to have you. I've got to get our instructions on, in fact, teammates that's coming. I haven't forgotten. I, I usually send out a pack to um, uh, six months worth of projects for my team. And then we gradually month by month work. Hi, Michelle, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining me, what a treat. Um, normally we would work through those, you know, one, one a month for our team meeting. But this next month, Michelle, we are going to, I am gonna get instructions on. I've got some really cute projects planned, but I just, I need to get those instructions on. So be looking for those later this week. Um, so that we have something to work on. If you want to do our team meeting with me, you don't have to wait for my kit. You'll be able to just uh, get it ready and get it going. And that and that will work out maybe better for everybody for a while. I'll do that for a while. And then in the summer, I'll have some time to get together kits again. And and uh, maybe, maybe in the summer, maybe in the spring, I don't know, we'll see. It's a little different for me here in Missouri because I'm not having to spend all the time gardening that I normally would because I just go to the garden. I don't have the garden. <laughs> so that's actually been really sweet to have a lot of time to just be able to do some other things. So I don't know, we'll see. Now, um, today's project is going to be a card holder. And as we get going, you're going to see what it looks like. It, the, the top is going to be 
like this easily kind of thing. Um, so we're going to do this easel, and then you'll see how the pockets are going to fit on the front and what we're going to do with that. So I'm going to put the camera down. Um, again, celebration is coming. So with every... Hi there, Terry. It's nice to see Terry. She must be a friend of Michelle's. It's so nice to see you. Oops, 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 oops. Come on, camera. Don't freak out. I know you don't like to turn, but you can do it. You can do it. And... Um, Anyway, let me try to get this over here so you can see. Here's my host code. It is celebration. So for every $50 worth of product you buy, you get something free. There's a lot of free stuff out there. So many cute free things. And Michelle, what's your favorite three, free thing right now? Um, oh, yeah, Terry, it's nice to see you. Thank you. I guess I already said, oh, washing from an airplane. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Where are you going? Where? Are, hopefully somewhere sunny and warm. All right. Um, okay, so what we are going to do is... Um, it, oh, it's time to join our team, too. I did, I forgot to tell you. All those goodies. You For $99, you get $175 plus. You get free pumpkin, paper pumpkin, other things that aren't included in that $177 or $75. I've heard different things, but... Um, Oh, <laughs> good. Terry is a demo already. Awesome. So, Terry, you can correct me if I get things wrong. Crafts a latte. That sounds like a fun one. I like that. That's a great name. Um, anyway, you ha if you if you join our team right now, you get um, over two hundred dollars worth of products. Now, if you want to spend one hundred twenty. Five, I think it is 127 I always forget the dollar amounts but um, you get to have that cute little mini um, embossing and cutting machine too for free so anyhow um, cow kits that sounds like fun <laughs> cow kits sounds like fun Terry now if you're going to Arizona you should be I hope you've got that desert details set because that would be super popular, I would think, in Arizona. I have really loved looking, making some cards that are kind of more of the southwestern flair um, with that set. All right, so let's get started. This is going to be the backing piece. I am going to start it out with some Granny Apple Green. I think that's what this is, Granny Apple Green. It looks awfully green. Maybe this is Parakeet Party. Now, I know this is Parakeet Party. Aha. So Parakeet Party is just a little more yellow than our Granny Apple Green. So that is Granny Apple Green that I've got here. It just seems really bright right at the moment. We're going to cut this nine and three quarters across. Okay. Nine and three quarters across. And then six and one quarter this way. Oh boy, my six and one quarter is a little hard for me to find. There's six and an eighth. There's maybe I put a line on there. Six and a half. You know, I am gonna it doesn't have to be, it kinda does. It kinda yeah, actually, it doesn't really have to be super exact, but I think that's six and a quarter. So we're going to go with that. It's just that line. It's kind of hard to hard to see right there. Let's see if I got it. Yeah, it's pretty close. It's actually over it a tiny bit, but I'm going to leave it. And then what we're going to do after that is we are going to score it. So actually, I shouldn't have done that. I'm going to still need this out. We're going to start with a half of an inch score line. Tool over here. I feel like my I'm crooked. Let me see if I can get this going a little bit better. I don't know. It just feels like feels like I'm crooked here. So a half of an inch right here on the bottom. Oh, come now, get in there. I did put a new cutting blade in my my cutting board. So you'll be glad to know I'm not cutting off little snippets all the time. Seven and a quarter, seven and one quarter, and eight and one quarter, 
and then nine and one quarter. Nine and one quarter. Well, that's the, that's not right. Why do I have nine and a quarter? I must not have cut my paper long enough. I'm going to have to do another one. It's a good thing I don't mind having a lot of scratch paper around because I just ruined that piece. Um, let's try that again. So I, I must have cut it nine and one fourths, but this is saying nine and three fourths. So let's just try it again. Okay, nine and three fourths. Yeah, that is definitely longer. I don't know what happened there. Nine and three fourths by six and one quarter. Maybe I can actually get it on the one quarter line this time. Okay, there we go. This should work out better. And half of an inch score line. You know, if you measure twice and cut once, that's always good, but you can always just do it by cutting twice too. It's not so good for your budget, but it does work. Seven and one fourths, eight and one fourths, and then hopefully we can get a nine and one fourths out of this. And if you cut it right, you can. Woohoo, I did. All right, so this is gonna be your little easel backing right here. So we're gonna do a mountain fold there and a valley fold here. And then this, we're gonna put a front piece on. And that, so I can still use, I think, that other piece that I flubbed on. I can use it. Okay, so that is the back. All right, so this is what it looks like. This is the back. Hopefully you can see it. I kind of got you a little close. All right, that is the back. In case you're wondering again what those dimensions were, nine and three quarters across, six and one quarters this direction. Then turn it back to the long way, score it half of an inch, seven and one quarter of an inch, eight and one quarter of an inch, and nine and one quarter of an inch. Okay, that is that piece. Now for our backing, I just need this. I wrote it on the back. I need this to be six and one quarter by six and three quarters. Okay, so we'll go the long way this time. Six and three, let's cut off. Hmm, let's, let's cut off my half of an inch that I've got scored right here. Okay, cut that off. And now we'll cut, go six and three quarters. I still end up with a half here, oh well. Six and three quarters. And then six and one quarter this direction, which it is, because I had cut it at that already. Now this piece is gonna just be mounted right on the front like this. You can just put a bit of glue here and a bit of glue here. And then that is gonna stand up really nicely for an easel. We're gonna make some cards and slide into a pocket in there eventually. Okay, but right now, let's just put a bit of glue on here and glue that on there. All right, I have been today, um, Jeff and I already went and had coffee this morning and I was telling him about, <laughs> I was proud of myself for not having snipped back at a lady that was annoying me. She didn't mean to be annoying me, of course. No one does. But I was, um, I've been doing, after doing my, um, the, um, tre not treadmill, the elliptical, I've been going on the rowing machine just for four minutes, just four minutes. And because um, I just need some upper body motion and where it's been keeping my shoulders from hurting to do that. And I haven't been doing, having to do stretches every day and a variety of things that I was needing to do if, as long as I'm doing this rowing machine. It's been great. Four minutes on that thing. Um, it's very relaxing. I do it at the end of my um, elliptical workout. So I'm all warmed up. It doesn't seem like very much. And um Anyway, so I went to get on it yesterday and I had all my stuff laid down by it. I was actually in the, I was in motion swinging my leg over it, in fact. Or was I even on it? I think I might have even been on it. I don't remember, but I wasn't going yet. 
and this lady um, came to go on the one next to me, right? This young woman, which was perfectly fine, um, but it was the lady that was with her who was older, about my age, only very thin, very attractive woman, very nice woman, I'm sure. Okay, before I get going on that anymore, let's do the pocket. So my little pocket is going to be two and seven eighths. Let's see if I have any scrap left over here that I can use. This is my... I don't want that. I gotta go grab a piece because I used up my other piece that I had all ready to use on that. Other piece of Granny Apple Green. This one is gonna be, um, well, let's do the big part first. Six inches by five inches. Okay, so we'll put long way in and six inches is the easy part. And then five inches. Okay, and now we're going to score that. Okay, so this is, let's go back to the six inch one. We are going to do the six inch one at two and seven eighths. Okay, two and seven eighths, and then three and one fourths. Not one eighths, but one fourths. That looks a little short. Let's see if I'm... That looks a little short. Let me try it and see. Yeah, it's just a little bit, but I think that's okay because it's going to keep my cards back. I could have gone three and one-eighths, and that would have been fine too. All right, and then on the sides, we are going to do a half of an inch on each side. So I'm going to use the half-inch mark on this side of the blade. And then I'm flipping it over and we're gonna do a half inch on this side of the blade. Anyway, so this late young woman comes in and plops down on the machine next to me and I kind of don't pay any attention to her. And then the older lady who was with her, they were in the middle of a very long conversation, right? So she, they're yap, yap, yapping. And the older lady looks at, I heard them say to each other, well, you gonna do this with me? Of course, I'm already on the machine, right? Um, and the older lady is like, well, yeah. And I, so I interrupted, I interrupted and I said, you know what? I'm only going to be here for four minutes. I only do this for four minutes and I'll be gone. So just, you know, hang around for a few minutes and I'll be out of here, out of your way. So they smiled and like, okay. And I got started and I did my four minutes and I actually do, you know, it kind of hard here and there just to get a good, kind of keep my, um, you know, heart pressure rate up still. And, um, okay, so I just snipped that half right there where we've got this little pocket part going, just snipped into the half, half inch line. So I got a room to make my little pocket. This is your pocket. Now, actually, before I even do the pocket, I'm really tempted to em I'm really tempted to do some embossing on it, but I think I'll resist because I'll I'm gonna want to do a design of some kind on here. So I've been just having so much fun using all of our new embossing folders. That metal one, the metal one, and the there's a weave one, cane weave. Anyway, they have been I've been using them a lot. I think every time I get going on something, I think, oh, this would look, this looks good, but it'd look even better <laughs> if, all right, okay, if I do it with embossing. Now, I do have one side that's just a tiny bit higher than the other side, so I want that to be at the back, or I could just even trim it. Let's look and see if it's really going to be problematic. Because if it is, then I'm going to go ahead and just trim it. Because I don't really want the tops to be not matched up. It actually looks pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to leave it alone. But I do want to make sure that the part that I, I want to make sure, if one side's better than another or you want one side out, make sure that one is getting folded to the back. See, when I do it that way, it's not quite quite lining up exactly the way I want it to. I've got this little tiny extra. So I think I'm gonna take my pocket 
And this part that's higher on the back side, it's not even really, and it's just barely, barely, barely anything. But I am gonna just trim that away. So I'm gonna just line it up right on the dark brown of my cutter. And that's gonna cut off just like a sixteenth of an inch. And that should be perfect now. Very good. Okay, so now it doesn't really matter which way I go because both sides are good. Ah, the nut in me still wants to know for sure which side's better. So we're gonna go with this side being the better side. And so there I am just doing that four minutes. And then um, as I left, I saw the older lady waiting. She was actually waiting because she kind of stepped off to the side, but she was waiting. And she says to me, I smile and she's got, and then she says, it, was that even worth it? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff said, yeah. Anyway, he gave me a whole lot of things I could have said back to her, which I didn't think of at the time and probably it was a good thing I didn't but instead I've learned not to say the mean things that do come to mind so uh, believe it or not so I didn't say any of those I um I just smiled and said well yeah it actually it's quite a lot worth it because <laughs> I use it as a war you know cool down blah 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 etc you know I gave her a couple of good reasons. I'm thinking, lady, first of all, you barely weigh 80 pounds. So what would you know about anything? And <laughs> then I'm also thinking, and if you knew anything about exercising at all, you know, even a few minutes is better than nothing. And just because I made you wait four minutes here, anyway, today when I was on the machine, she came in. Or actually when I went, left my elliptical and went over to do it, she was rowing already on the one that I like to do, by, by the way. And um, I did not say anything. This isn't big enough. What was I thinking? Did I do it the wrong way? Because this is not big enough. I thought I was getting a piece this big. So let's do this pocket the right way. Because I actually need a piece this big to make this pocket. Um, I, I'm i sorry. I thought I had my measurements right, but I didn't. So we're going to just go ahead and do this on the fly. So I need this piece to at B instead of four inches. How did I end up with that? It's supposed to be five. Okay, so we're, we want it to be five inches across. So I need to cut it six. This isn't bad, whatever I ended up with there, but oh boy, Hoboken. Okay, so I needed it to be six inches across. Why it, is it not correct? It should be, oh, that's the backing piece. Here we go, okay, here's this piece. So six inches across. Did I do it the wrong direction? Five inches, see that's what I did. I ended up, oh, with four here. Oh, that's what I did, that's what I did. Okay, so um, we're gonna do this again. We need this to be six inches. Huh. Let's just do six by six, okay? I think that will work out better if we do that. Six by six, okay. All right, try again. What's this? This is not six. We could do six, but that'll give us the same width. I gotta go get another piece. <laughs> this is what happens when you goof around, blabbing, not paying attention. All right, so we'll try it again. This time we will just do a six by six inch square. All right, and it doesn't matter which way, if it's a square, right? Now I can just do it again at, hmm, I hope it's tall enough. Oh, well, okay, two and, two and seven eighths, right there. And this time I am gonna go, instead of going three and a quarter, I'm gonna go three and one eighths. That's going to give me a little bit narrower, but it's still going to be plenty of a pocket to, um, there we go. And then that's going to, that, that is the correct sizing on both sides. So 
Okay, and then we're going to do a half inch on each of these sides. And you can see already that, yes, indeedy, this is going to work out much, much better as a pocket. So just do a six inch square for that pocket. And then for the little binding in the middle, it's two and seven eighths and three and one eighths. And then half inch on each side. We're going to just snip this and make our pocket again. This time I'm not even, these are so skinny, I'm not even going to do the extra little cut on it. I need to get that piece out of there. That's not actually going to work for me. Okay, trying it again. My goodness. So do you like this gnome set? It's pretty cute. I, do you have kindest gnomes? I really like this part. It's this this stamp set. It's really cute. Oh, hi, Trudy. It's nice to see you. Oh, Corey. I don't know if you're still with me, but thanks for watching. It's awfully nice of you. I hope you guys are having good weather right now. Ours is beautiful. When are you going to come to Missouri and see us? <laughs> right now, we're still kind of recovering from our last visitor's um, visit. It's... um. You know, you always do a great deal when you're with other people, and I need to trim that. That's just not quite working for me. Let's trim here, like that, and that. There we go. Then I can fold this in properly. You know, um, I was thinking, I think I need a pass for the zoo. The zoo is super fun here. I really like it. It's it's um it's small enough zoo that you can get through the whole thing in one visit. Why are you being difficult? I don't understand this. But you are. It's like this is I must not have cut it exactly straight or something. I don't know, but you're just being impossible there. Let's try it again. There. I don't know why it's being difficult, but it is. Huh, that is weird. Okay, got that side, although it definitely did not want to cooperate. And my glue's almost dried up. And so my one and three, three and one eighth isn't quite right either, because I think that's what's causing this difficulty. But we're going to make it work anyway. Okay, because I ended up with this, and that's partly because it's crooked on the bottom. So I'm kind of in a rush and not sure what happened. So anyway, we're going to just even it out. This is what you do when you think, huh, I don't know what happened, but it doesn't really matter. I just want my folds to be at the back like this because it's kind of wonky right there. All right, so now that's done. We don't really need to worry about it fitting on just yet because I want to do some other things. This is going to um, look pretty good, though. You get This way you have some room for your little cards, right? Cute. You could do little Valentine cards if you want. I was going to do some Valentines, but we'll see. Right now, I want to use... Get off there before you glue on. Let me get rid of my scraps. I'm afraid I'm going to end up with a weird scrap glued to something. Get those out of the way. All right, so our old paper had these cute little hearts. Aren't they cute? You glued yourself right to my paper. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Criminy, I've got glue here. I don't even know how that happened, but that's going to be like sticking to everything. Okay, you are gone. That's going to take care of that. All right, so we've got that. And then plus, I have this cute little rainbow thing going. And that's really what I wanted on this cover part. I'm going to just cut, cut a bit to be on the top here. And then this pocket is going to go here. And then we might put our little hearts on the front of our little pocket. Or maybe, should I do my pocket with the, what do you think? Should I do the pocket with a rainbow and my hearts on the whole front? Let's look at that and see what I think. 
Ah, oh, no, 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 no. I don't like that. I like the I like this on here. Now I don't have a ton of this rainbow paper left. Let me look and see if I have. I might have another sheet of it. I'm not sure. I've been using, you know, this is old paper, so I've had it for a long time. I think I might have another sheet of it, but I don't see it there. So we're gonna just use this bit. And if this is six inches across, which I believe it is, six and one quarter, I'm actually gonna wanna cut a piece five and a half inches. So we'll just cut this five and a half inches across. I want more of that. I, I do want the pool party to be showing. Let's see if my, oh good, and my green is gonna show. That's the important part. I wanna make sure there's more of this green showing than anything. So we'll glue that on. Anyway. So I, today I did just, I smiled and said hello. And the lady of course smiled. She's totally innocent, has no idea that she just like totally ticked me off yesterday. I just am, there's so many people at the exercise place right now when I leave. There are not so many when I get there. But if I'd gotten there later, man, it'd be tough getting in there. Okay, now we're going to glue this right on here. Now that I've got that on. Okay, just put the glue all on the back. Get your little pocket on there. I'm going to put plenty on so that it is sustaining whatever activity is happening here with it. Okay, get that stuck on there, good. Okay, very good. And then we need this little front bit. We're gonna do this, at, this is five inches across, so we're gonna do four and a half. Four and a half by two. Well, about two and a half. It's going to be a bit bigger than that, but okay. Let's go this way. Four and a half. By two and a half, but I'm thinking that might be a little bigger than I want. If not, I'll do another one. Let's see, now that's pretty close. It could have been a little bit less than that, but that's that's close. I'm, I like the hearts like this. Okay, for me, <gasps> I kinda like this paper. Oh well, don't tell anyone that I'm using the wrong paper. You know, you just use up what you have, right? Don't worry if it's last year's paper, just use it. Okay, very cute, very cute. All right, now we are ready for our gnomes. We're gonna make a couple little cards. There, that stands up really nice, doesn't it? So what you do is you just fold this in. It's It should fold pretty flat. Now this is gonna have cards in it, so it's not gonna fold terribly flat. You wouldn't want it to anyway. There's gonna be cards in there. Put it in a little box or a sack, and you've got a nice little gift of cards to give to someone. And let's see what I've got here in my scrap pile. I'm gonna throw away this pocket. Maybe I'll put this pocket over there to remind myself that I still have to change the dimensions on that. Because otherwise, I'm gonna have trouble. Um, will I use my parakeet party? Maybe. Let's go ahead and do one. So we'll do, we'll use this sheet of parakeet party. We'll cut it in five and a half. And then I'm gonna score it at four and a quarter this way and this one, oops, four and a quarter. Okay, so these are gonna be my card bases for a couple of them. Let's do one more with, let's do one more with 
pool party can find you in here okay so the pool party is also one of these colors here that I want to kind of highlight I think in it red would work too but let's go this direction four and a quarter and then we're gonna score these at five and a half Okay, five and a half this way, five and a half this way. I love pool party. This is one of my favorite colors. Very pretty. I'll set that aside. All right, so we're gonna use these as our backgrounds, the ones the you know the, the ones in the holder. So let's do one here. I'd like to get rid of a bunch of that red. So we're going to cut off most of that red so that I don't have so much of it. And then I'm going to just cut like right in half here, maybe a little more than half. We're going to end up just using a part of it on one and probably none of that one. We'll use this part of it on this one. Okay, and then for this one, we'll just do the same thing. We're gonna do, let's see what our size is. We've got way more than I need. Let me grab my other scrap that might be a bit smaller. It's not, let's turn it this way. No, let's turn it this way. I'm just trying to get the colors that I'm gonna want. We're gonna go four inches. And we'll go five and a quarter. And that will be one of these. And I think we'll use this one for this one. Okay, now we're ready to get on with the stamping. This is the fun part. Now there is one other paper that I was gonna put, bring in. This is available. This is our textured shimmer paper. Oh, you're gonna like this. Have you seen it? Do you have it? You're gonna really like this one, I think. So textured shimmer is very textured. It's like corduroy ribbing. There's only two colors. Two, oh, I lie, there's three colors. There's balmy blue and white. And looks like so, it looks like spruce. Let's look. It is balmy blue shaded spruce and white. Now, I don't know if my, I've got pool party going there, so let's look with the papers that I've got that are not pool party. I think it's gonna be close enough that I can use it because I really wanted to put on some of this. So pretty, look at that. You see, it does, it shimmers. It's very textury. So even if you do not have, um, you know, an embossing machine, which again, if you join our team and just go ahead, get the starter kit, a little bit more, $125 worth, you get a little embossing machine and you could do your own stuff. But if you don't do that, you could buy this textured shimmer paper. It's really nice. So let's cut this at four inches. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut it at five and a quarter. And then I'm going to put that on one of these cards like this. And that's just going to give us a nice, doesn't that sound nice? <laughs> that ribbed effect. So I love this. This is really pretty. You will, you will love it. This one, I don't know if I can do it. Let's see. It just, it jars, you know, that's balmy blue. This is that, so I can't do it with that one. And let's do it with this one too, since I've got it. Might as well use it. We're gonna cut this one off at five and a half, or five and a quarter also. There we go. All right, let's get those glued on and then they'll be nice and dry when it's time to gnome 
gums on it. Okay, there's that one. This one, come on, don't be crooked there. No, there we go. Now the one bad thing I noticed is that I kind of raised it a little bit there. So you do need to be a little careful with this paper. Apparently it can sort of be bumped up. Uh, you know, I could put a mat under here, but that green is so bright. I don't think you want to. Um, and I could do in, in dimensionals and raise it, but this is pretty active colors. <laughs> I mean, there, it's, uh, I don't think I need any more activity going with things being raised. Let's kind of try to keep the tone down a little bit. It's pretty, pretty bright. I don't usually do bright colors like this. This is kind of out of my, my zone. But when you're doing Valentine's, uh, it's kind of nice to be out out of the ordinary a little bit. I might go with something down here. Let's do that. We're going to cut all this red off, maybe except for one strip. And then we'll glue this on the bottom. That'll give us something just a little bit different to work with on this card. And since we're doing it, we might as well just get these on as well. Then our little gnomes can go on it and uh, we can be finished maybe a little quicker than if I'm thinking about it and not actually doing it. Okay, very good. This one, I really like when this came out because it says text me on there. When this came out, um, I didn't use my phone. <laughs> I did not use my phone enough to ever really say anything about texting, which is kind of funny. That's how old this paper is. Let's put, um, yeah, let's put it on the top. I'm not sure exactly yet what we're going to do with this design. We'll see. When, if you just get your designer series paper on it, everything's going to just flow. You know, you don't have to think about it too much. You're going to, you're going to be fine. And right now in celebration, we have some wonderful designer series paper. I'm not using any of it today, but from one of our free packs of paper, you, oops, not all the day at the farm is also in it. I don't know why I have you in there, but I do have some of that in here. I must've just shoved it in there accidentally. But anyhow, you can see all this paper, and I could have used this green, that stripe. I still might. Let's pull that out. I might even use that. Who knows? And there's this one, too, that I could have used. There's just, like, so much, so many colors. Fresh Freesia, Mango Melody, you got everything. It's really pretty, pretty patterns. And um, so there you go. All right, we are gonna get out one piece of white cardstock. Let me make sure I don't have any glue on here. Don't know how that happened. I think when I was putting my pocket down, I managed to get a bunch of glue on it. Last week I found some really crazy stories to entertain myself with while I was finding things to do for us. And um, one of the stories was a story um, about a woman's luggage. Thinking of you, Terry, flying across the States. Um, this woman left the Chicago airport, so I think you're safe. But anyway, she was, I forget where she was going. I think, um, I think she was going to Oregon and, um, well, she made it, but her luggage didn't. <laughs> this happened a while ago, like four years ago. But just this last, this month, January 12th, her luggage was found miraculously. All right, we're going to do, since this is uh, the holidays, I'm going to do each one of these. Um, but I'm going to do the heart guy at least a couple times. Okay, I'm going to just stamp these and then we'll get them colored. 
and cut out. And yes, cut out. I'm so sorry, but they do not come. I don't have the dies. They, there are dies that cut some of them out. I just don't have them because I did not buy the Kindest Gnomes Bundle. But if you had bought the Kindest Gnomes Bundle, you would have a die that cuts out this little heart guy, I think. Since I don't have it, I'm not 100% sure of that, but I think that's it. Anyway, her luggage turned up in, in Honduras. Did not turn up in, in Oregon where she went. In Honduras. But you know what? The funny thing is, it the luggage itself was sort of mangled up, I believe, but nothing was missing. Nothing missing, nothing stolen. So there you go. Pretty good deal. So if you've lost your luggage, if you lose your luggage, don't give up. Maybe the airline will find it um, someday. All right, so three of those will do. I don't know how many of these we're going to actually use, but I am going to go ahead and just stamp them up. Now, I guess what I need to do is make sure I've got some room around my little mushrooms, though, because I probably want to do a die around those. You know, and we're not going to fussy cut out the mushroom. I will draw the line at that. That makes that makes a little too much work. I like this little lady gnome. She's cute. Very cute. I'll do another one of her. Like right over here. Okay, I'm just cut, I'm just having fun. Just having fun stamping these out and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna do the balloon, but if you were gonna do the birthday, you could do the balloon, that would be fun. The um, little bird and the little squirrel, they're super cute. I'm gonna stamp them out, but I doubt very much I am gonna be using you because I'm not gonna wanna take the time to cut you out. <laughs> for these cards, because this whole project's just taking a little longer than I really wanted to do. Jeff is home today. He has got the rest of the week off, but he is home today. So, I have no idea what he's doing. We'll do a couple of birds. I'm a sucker for birds. If you get a stamp set with a bird or a heart on it, you're golden. You can do so many, many, many things with a bird or a heart. Either one. Oh, my, I didn't get you quite on there right. And didn't get you on there right either. Okay. Now, one thing I pulled up um, a really super old photopolymer set. Oh, man. Probably five, six year old set. And it was back in the days when they had the black printing right on it and I had or some whoever I you know used my set last had put these sticky sets right on top of the actual printing instead of on the other side and the printing was actually came off onto my stamps because they'd been unused for a long time so just a heads up you might want to check and make sure your photopolymer sets if you've got old ones with the black printing on it you don't want that to stay on. Let's put these back in there. You don't want that printing to stay on your photopolymer sets because it just, it, I, I had a hard time getting it off and it really, really stuck on that good. Okay, now for my gnomes, I am just gonna use petal paint can find you. you. Start with that for your skin very quickly. I am not going to be doing super, super careful, careful with you guys. You're just going to get, now that's dark. I don't really want the dark one. Let's do the light one. Okay, for all of them. So if you do assembly line things, actually is the fastest way to get a lot of cards done. And one of the things I like about fussy cutting is I don't have to be quite as super careful with my coloring 
as I might otherwise want to be. Now, I want to do little rosy cheeks for her, though. So I'm going to grab out my lightest flirty flamingo. And I'm just going to do her little dots for her cute little freckles. Okay. And on his little red nose, he needs a little bit of color there. And then we'll take our light petal pink again and blend that in. Okay. So now there's just a tiny bit of extra color there for their little hands. Um, I don't want him to have a red heart because that's going to really super clash with my hearts. If we're going to do a heart on one of these, let's do the let's do a heart on one of these. Let's make his little heart pool party. So we'll get our dark pool party out. do a couple. He's got a blue heart. Poor Valentine's. Okay, now if you want to do a little bit of a highlight, you could take your little white gel pen. Just do a little white highlight there and then that's cute. But none, none of that is necessary. This is pretty cute anyway. Um, no matter what you do. Let's make one of the little girls redheaded. So I'm going to take dark pumpkin and, oops, my dark pumpkin's really wearing out on that side anyway. You could use Cajun craze too, but I prefer to use dark pumpkin. Let's do one of him, one of these guys with red. He's got a red beard. <laughs> Don't cover, get his sleeve. Okay. And then Mango Melody. Should work pretty good with that. It's kind of bright. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with Mango Melody, but then I'm gonna use just a little bit of ivory to tone that down. That's not ivory. That's not ivory. Where are you? There you go. Ivory. There. You can see it a bit more over here if I do it up here, maybe. It's kind of toning his beard down just a bit. It's not quite as golden. Okay, since, um, let's do a uh, crumb cake. Where are you, crumb cake? Mm -hmm. That's not crumb cake. That's not crumb. Uh, the trouble is now I've got all of these neutral colored Pens. It's hard for me to find what I'm looking for. Let's get the dark one out first. And this one. Might as well go with pears, don't you think? Crumb cake. This is the lighter crumb cake. Now this is a nice brown, but it's not all that hair-ish looking to me. So we're not finished. Now my suggestion with blending pens is to practice, practice, practice. And if you want to have a little bit of a shortcut, I have on my Square Store a link to Quickie Quickie Class. It's going to show you some coloring techniques. I'm not an expert, so it's not like you're getting... These are short shorts, five bucks. Very short, but at least it's going to give you a little bit of a hint what I do. 
All right, now this is Smoky Slate, and I am gonna just add a bit of gray on top of that. Not a ton, but just a little. And then it's gonna, it's gonna make it look a little, I don't know, that crumb cake's almost got a little tiny bit of a green, you know, in it. Okay, so that's that. And now one more color. We're gonna just go with a very simple yellow. So we'll use our Mango Melody again for the dark parts. And then go over with, um, if I can find some pineapple punch in my kit, I might have some still. I prefer it. It's nice and yellow. It's not got any orangey red in it. But since I don't see it right off the top of my head, here's so saffron. This is dark. I don't know if I want dark. Let's try the nib and see how dark it is. That's not too bad. We'll go with it. If these weren't cartoony characters, I'd probably make sure I was going with a lighter version because um, I would want some white left in here and there. But these guys, these are like caricatures. They're not, you know, real people. So their colors can be bolder. Let's do our little bird. One of them yellow. Now yeah, let's do two of them yellow. We'll do one little blue bird. We saw some bluebirds in our yard. Man, it was so sweet to have bluebirds visiting us because I don't see them a lot. We have got some really nice blue jays. They are so pretty. Love those. And I was in the park, happened to be there when it was really, really cold. I went then so that people wouldn't be scaring all the birds in, away, basically, and squirrels. And... Um, Oh man, I saw really close up. This is number, oh, this is bronze. This is another one. The one that comes with the um, ivory is a really good match for it. In fact, while I'm wondering, maybe I should use this while I've got it out on his shoes. Let's use bronze right here. Um, normally I don't see those those um, blue jays when they're calling and they're also, they fly around a lot. I don't see them and hear them enough to know it's them. And this day that I'm talking about last week, I happened to just be there at the right time. This is ivory, I think. Yep. And uh, so anyhow, I could, I found, I could, oop, I missed her little shoe. How did I do that? hope you can see everything I'm working on here. Um, they have a really distinct call that's a lot like a crow, but I didn't know that until I happened to see them making that sound. Now, if you're like a bird fanatic, you've probably gone online and you know what they sound like and all that, but I'm not. I just am a casual observer. So it's a treat to discover these things. When you know too much, Life just sort of ruins itself in a great way. It's nice to discover things you just didn't know. I'm going to keep my ivory handy because I think I want to use crumb cake for my little mushrooms. Let's do, let's put, um, oh boy, let's do, let's do cinnamon cider. Is this cinnamon cider? This is bronze. Um, here's cinnamon cider. That's the dark one, though. I kind of am looking for the light one. I don't see it. Of course, cinnamon cider is expired. You don't get this one anymore. I bought a few when when I knew this color was going. Um, and that was even before I think the all the flesh tone ones came out because. I probably wouldn't have needed to buy it if I had known we were going to have all those, but I didn't. I wanted to make sure I had a variety of browns because this is a nice reddish brown, this cinnamon cider. It's a good good one. Um, it's, it's very similar to bronze. Let's do this all around my little mushroom just to give us a little bit more depth on them. I'm just going over the lines. Just use... Use the stamps lines. And let's check out our bronze. See if it's different. 
See, bronze is a little less red. And then crumb cake. We're going to use our, our dark crumb cake first. Just around the edge. Okay, and in here, just a little bit. I'm just drawing lines. I'm not really coloring anything. I'm just drawing lines. Sometimes you're hearing a little scribble. When I need a little bit more than just lines, but for the most part, I am just doing lines. Oh, I should do her hat while I'm here. Oh, it must be two o'clock. Whoa, gotta get going. Gotta get going. Once you get the coloring done, it goes pretty fast. And that was dark, so now we're gonna use our light colored crumb cake. Is this, this looks like ivory, which is fine. That's not actually what I was gonna use there, but we're going with it now. I'll fix it later. Um, where's crumb cake? There you are, light crumb cake. Your little bullet nib is gonna give you a little, usually a little more ink. I know it sounds counterintuitive. Um, you would think you would be getting a little less ink because it's a smaller nib, but it must be more concentrated or something. I get a little less ink with this brush. This is like a, almost like a paint brush. So you do have to be a little careful of these nibs. They do this big one, the, the little bullet one, not so much, but this one, if you color really hard with it, you can ruin your nib. And it's one reason these pens, um, I'm, you know, I, I am never sad when I have to buy another one because of the, the, it, of the ink problem. Usually by the time I've run out of ink on one, it's big nib is ready to be replaced anyway. And these pens are actually not, if you're comparing them to the cost of other alcohol pens, especially for the color combinations you're getting, plus the color quality, how it, they're made. Uh, these are really good pens. They're, uh, some of the ones that I've bought that are not Stampin' Up! ones are streaky, and uh, you're not gonna like, not all of them, okay? If you take my color class, you will hear which pens I recommend and which ones I don't. And um, I will be giving that information on any of the color classes that I, I'm offering because I'm offering um, ones to show how to do flesh tones, um, flowers and leaves, and um, other, other stuff. I don't even really remember how I broke it all down. But um, anyway, now my squirrel, squirrels, you know, have a stripe, but um, I think I'm going to... Uh, I don't know, squirrel. I'm going to just go ahead and leave you light colored, no stripe really. You're just a generic squirrel. You're not a chipmunk. Even ch squirrels, though, do have a lot of little stripies on them. Okay, so let's do um, this for one of the hats. Kind of trying to stay somewhat color coordinated here while getting some enough done to make this worth your while to watch. Let's get, let's do, one that way. I don't think we want any more there. Okay, like that. And if athletes get athlete's foot, here's a joke for you. What do elves get? This would have been a good Christmas one. If athletes get athlete's foot, what do elves get? Let's see if you can tell me the answer to that. All right, let's do, um, no, 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 no. We have to stick with our color family. So if we're gonna do any greens, we've got to do 
our yellowy greens. So we've got olive. This is granny apple green. This one is granny apple green. We'll stick with that. This is the dark one. We'll do our little leaves. Hmm. Right there, right there, and there. Let's do, let's do this dress with it. Little button and her sock. Okay, if athletes get athlete's foot, what do elves get? They get mistletoes. <laughs> oh, ha <laughs> ha, good one. Oh, bell toes. That was a really good guess, Andy. That was a good guess. You were very, very close. <laughs> you know, I had just, I just scrolled and saw. Oh, good. Corey says, you are coming. Oh, good. You are going to have a plan to come out. That is excellent. You know, Corey, when you come, we're going to have a lot of fun. But be prepared to eat out. <laughs> I like to eat out. It's like a super treat for me. I don't like eating in. I can eat in, but I don't like it. For one thing, I really don't like to mess up my kitchen with cooking. And um, since I, Jeff and I don't eat hardly anything anymore, I don't have to. Um... So, and I'm a real fuss budget when it comes to cleaning, which is fine for everyone else except for people who want to help in my kitchen. I would drive them nuts. So it's just better for everyone else if we just eat out. So be prepared to eat out. We will have a wonderful time. Jeff and I will pay for it. And um, anyway... It's nice. We've got tons of stuff. In fact, I just saw a new place that's opening up um, out here in Springfield. Farmhouse Cafe. Oh my goodness, Farmhouse Cafe. How great does that sound? I've never heard of it. Hopefully it's a good one. We have so far, we've eaten a lot of places and some are better than others, I have to admit, but the truth is, is that we haven't eaten in a place yet here that we didn't really love. Um, we've come away thinking, oh, okay, well, that chain of that one in that other, you know, town is actually a better, that one's a better restaurant. But as far as the actual restaurant itself, they're all pretty good. All right, I'm looking for soft sea foam. Where are you? Gotta be in here somewhere. I see old olive. That's not really what I want. Thought I had that out already. Oh, I have granny apple green out. Okay, I don't see my soft sea foam. Where are you? Aha, there you are. So, soft sea foam is a bluish one, so you gotta be careful with it. But, it can, you know, it can work. You just you got if you put a little bit of this yellowy green in with it it's going to help it a little bit and it's it's just it's a much lighter color okay so we have that now we can do some of i think i had pink out already where are you oh yeah yeah Fl flirty flamingo i'm going to just do all of those like that Flirty Flamingo. Let's do one of the mushrooms with that. And this heart with that. And even though the beak should be orange, we're going to do them with Flirty Flamingo. And do our little door. Do you see that I'm trying to save some time here? <laughs> Did you catch on to that? Okay, little dress. You can just go on and on with this coloring business, can't you? It just can go on and on, and I don't want to take too terribly much time doing it. Oops, I lost it. 
Okay, here's another one. What do you, oh, I did this one last week. You probably remembered it. Better not do that one again. How did the telephone propose to his girlfriend? Oh, these are so goofy. And these are exactly the kind that kids love. How did the telephone propose to his girlfriend? This sounds like a bell one, like you, the one you did already. You know, Andy, I think a bell would be good in this answer. Now, I got green in her sleeve, but we're going to go over it with pink anyway. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, green, green. And we're going to do green for these. At least some of that. And then a little bit of so saffron right on it. And in the window. Oh, my flirty flamingo, we didn't finish you out. Got the doors and the flowers. I've got that one. Oh, what? Whatever. We'll do with that one there, too. Used a ringtone. That is very good. It, you are right. You, that, I think yours is better. It says he gave her a ring. <laughs> he gave her a ring. Um, used a ringtone. Works. Okay. Ta-da! I should have something to give a winner of a, of a joke. You could get a special prize. <laughs> okay, I, you know what? I love our pale papaya. I don't know if I was excited about it when it first showed up, but it is a really good one for blending your colors in. Okay, if you want it, just a little bit of color, this, this, I love this one. It's really good. Oops, he's probably not with red hair. I can't even see that. He's got red hair. I'll do that there. Uh-huh. Oh, with this one, it'll be good. He's got, like, long underwear on. I'm just trying to get him finished out here pretty fast. And um, let's go ahead, since I've got the orange theme going, we'll do a little bit of pumpkin pie there and our papaya on top. And then you can see how it does. It, I love it. You can use it anywhere. It's almost like a neutral. Okay, almost done. I think a little bit of soft, so saffron on his long underwear. Oh, no, not there though. Let's do cool party on this guy just for his pajamas or his sleep suit. I mean, come, what does a gnome wear? Okay, and last half. I actually kind of like a green hat. We can do a green hat for this one. Not too bright, though. Let's start with our dark, soft sea foam. Do that. And our ivory on top of that. Okay, so one of my other things about my coloring class is that I am gonna show you some of the things you can do with blending your colors. If you do some underpainting, so did you notice I kinda underpainted with our soft sea foam. It's a good one to do that with. You can get all kind. It it worked, right? Okay, I think we are ready to cut these guys out. I do not have dies, but we're not cutting them all out. I'm just cutting some of them out. You can see how it's not that tough to do. 
Uh, and it gives you something to do when you're watching TV at night. Jeff and I have got a show that we really like watching called Love It or List It. It's on Amazon Prime. It's some Canadian show. Um, Jeff likes to look things up and find out all about them. So he discovered that there is an American version. I'm not talking about that one. I have no idea what that one's like. It, it could be good. It could be horrible. I just don't know. All right, so with this one, we are going to stick you here. So I'm going to put him on the side so I have that one all safe and secure. And we'll go on to the next one. I don't know if I'm going to use the red one. I'm not sure that I like his red beard so much. Have you seen Love It or List It? Oh, on my coloring classes, I, put, I just added it um, on my Square store. So if you go to wherever I have it listed as my store, so it's not Stampin' Up, and it's not on my Wix website because I can't link anything that I get money from really on my web my my Wix website either. You know, Stampin' Up has all of its rules. But my store, you can get to that. It's a it's a link on the store. So every newsletter has that link too at the bottom of it. It's one of the little funky links and you click on it. It says Kathy Crow's store. Kathy Crow's cards store. Sorry. And uh, anyway, they are up there and ready to go. Oh, he's so cute. All right, we're going to put you there. And we'll try one of her and see how she looks. Oh, she's kind of, yeah, she's all right. She's not the one that has the green on her sleeve. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the one with the green on her sleeve. We'll see. You might see her pop up in a card later. I'm not going to use her today. I just don't think I'm going to have time to. This is going on a little long. I knew it would. I It took me a little longer, too, just because I messed up on my little easel card and had to do, double cut. All right. But, yes, anyway, my card cut. It's just going to be a $5 class, you know. So it's not anything too too serious, but it's just a little bit of info. All of you guys are really good at coloring already. Um, it's, it's, um, it's just always nice to get a little bit of encouragement to see that, yeah, I actually am doing really good here. Okay, I got to use one of you, and I have, I'm, not, I'm not that fond of this one. Let's let's do him and see how he looks on my card. Maybe he'll look better. Oops, I didn't even color one of his sleeves. Okay, there we go. Let's see how you look on this card. Because this one actually has quite a bit of yellowy. Eh, I don't know. I'm not that impressed. Let's try her. She does not have green on her sleeve. I do really like... I'm not... None of our family is blonde. I don't have any blondes. I wanted blonde hair when I was six. You know, and eight and probably 14. Those are probably the years I particularly really, really would have liked to have had blonde hair. But I got over it. And um, I still really like blonde hair. It's I think it's because I like to braid hair. I would have liked to have had my hair braided more. And I'm just telling you, braided hair looks better when it's blonde. It just does. All right. So there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're cute. You're cute. And so what cards have I got? I thought I did four. There's one, two, three, four. Okay, so I've already got four characters cut out for those. I only need one. I don't really need this guy. And I don't need you either. And so now let's see what dies I can find to cut out these two mushrooms. We'll see. I am using a lot of my stylish stylish dies so i bet you i've got those out here handy because it has the circle i'm 
pretty partial to the large circle. Let's get the second to the largest circle. I think that'll work. I might even, nope, not going to be able to get that one. How about this one? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we will do these with that. I'm going to pull the camera way up. And I'm going to have to clear off some markers so that we can even work here. So much stuff all over the place. All right, last week you heard me complaining about my backside being larger. Well, you'll be happy to hear I have lost a few pounds. <laughs> it's slow, slow going. Very slow. Oh my goodness. I Every day I feel like it should be going fast. I feel like I'm starving myself, but I'm rarely really hungry, I have to admit. I don't really get all that hungry, which is a blessing. I remember what it was like dieting when I was literally starving to death all the time. When you get older, you don't tend to starve so much. But on the other hand, that just means my metabolism is so low it takes forever to lose any of the weight. Okay, so let's start with this one. Um, I did not change out my plates, so you're looking at really, really crummy plates today. My apologies. Look at that. And I did not even do my little stepping stones, did I? Okay. Now, when we get your starter kit and you get your little mini, it's gonna be half the size of this. But, you know, I don't even use the bigger ones all that much the whole size, I, I, you can get by. It's not something you want to do long term. Let's see, let's do this like here. And then I'm going to use the edge for my sentiment stamping. And I would probably normally, uh, you know, put a sponge, maybe some sky backing here. But because all of these have white background, not doing that is fine too. You don't have to always have a sky sponged on. I do really like it though. I like having a sponged on sky. Let's go like that. These, this set is so cute. I love this little stamp set. It's so cute. for my sentiments. I am going to pull in my little heartfelt sentiments. So lucky to have a friend like you. Now this one would be good for um, St. Patrick's Day. Huh. Love you lots. You know what? I'm not seeing anything there. Let's look at my friendly gnomes. Gnome sweet gnome. That's perfect. Gnome sweet gnome. Okay, so let's see. We're going to decide what card's going to go with what, and then I'll know what. What color sentiment my sentiment needs to be. I like this. Okay, we're going to go gnome, sweet gnome. So let's just do it in granny apple green. And because it's a photopolymer, it's pretty easy to do this. So we're going to go gnome first, right there. Oh, I didn't get the E. Gotta 
get the E. Let me grab my cleany thingy. And let's get my E, just the E. There we go. All right, now for this, my my sweet, I am going to see if I can find, first of all, where's my washi tape? There you are. And I'm gonna cover up some of my gnome there, and then we'll get just the sweet. And take that off. No sweet, and then I can just I'm just going to use that same gnome on the top again. This time I'll try to get the e in. There you go. Aren't you cute? Gnome sweet gnome. Oh no, not you. You. You you you. And that'll be it. So let's. We got to have dimensionals on this one. I've got a tiny bit left on this sheet. Let's stick my little leftovers on you. My last bit. Every time I've gone to use this sheet, I keep thinking this is it. I'm going to use the last bits of this. And then I don't. So this, waha, the last bit. Yay. around and I actually can throw this sheet away finally I mean I'm telling you I've been working on that for months I think and now to find another sheet of full size ones that aren't mini I think I need to go open a new box new, new package Yay, fresh new package. I love a fresh new package. I haven't had a fresh new package in a long time. You have to be a demonstrator to appreciate that, I think. Okay, there's that. And that. Oh, you are so cute. We can do something else on the top there, but I'm going to just leave it at that. Again, shimmery, shiny. I hope you can see that. Fun, fun, fun. You're going to love that. And where are you? Are we going to do you here or are we going to do you here? I think we're going to do this guy here. So what I want to do with this one is we're just going to use up a piece of scrap here. Let's do a heart. Okay, I think we'll do our happy Valentine's Day. Hmm, let's put my gnome sweet gnome back before I lose it. I lost a stamp in a that pack of cards <laughs> out of my, I think it might have been the little bird set, I forget. Anyway, it was gone for like a week. I thought, oh, well, I guess I threw it away. I've lost it, lost it permanently. It was from all of us is the stamp. So it was like, oh, well, I've got a lot of from all of us. I think I'm good. But um, I found it. So happy. Okay. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, you're a little pale. Hmm. I'm, I have re-inked this. What's the deal? What is the deal? Do Coastal Cabana. And we'll just try it again. Not great. Now I should get my Stamparatus out. And uh, and then we would do better. Right? I, I don't want to get my Stamparatus out. This one actually turned out better. It's not great, but it's good enough. So I just need to re-ink these again. Both Coastal Cabana and Pool Party. But I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure I've done them already. Hmm. 
I do have that punch. Let's see if I can find it. Which is it? Which is it this one? Voila. All right, now we're gonna stick you there. We're gonna stick you here, like that. Now if we had like a doily or something, that would look really good, wouldn't it? I know I have a doily, um, but where is the doily is the question. Let's see, what have we got over here? Hmm. You know, I know I have a bunch of doilies. I just can't think of where can't think of where they are at the moment. So instead of worrying about the doily, we're going to grab a ribbon instead because ribbon also will work. And it's something I can find quickly enough. Okay, now this one is a sparkly ribbon, but it's going to do... And just do it like this, and like this, and like this, and like this. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do to get my ribbon down is use our stamp and seal. Make sure it's started. Hmm, is this one I this one needs to be replaced? I don't know why I have it still in my drawer. We need to be replaced. Let's try this one. Ah, there we go. So we're going to just stick, oh, a couple of them down, a couple of lines. And that way I can get my ribbon to kind of stick on here the way I want it. Oop, a little shorter. Okay, and then we'll put a dimensional on the back. A cute little heart. Okay, very good. Happy Valentine's Day. My little gnome sleeve needs to be done, so we're going to grab this guy out instead. <laughs> I need to get that sleeve done before I can really stick him on here. All right, what did the um, cucumber... No, that's not it. Yeah, what did the cucumber say to the pickle? Oh, yes, yeah, is a good one. What did the cucumber say to the pickle? I think it is so cute. I'm loving those. Those are going to be really nice. And this one. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. There is this one. We're going to go like this. So what do we want to say on this one? Oh, I know exactly what I'm going to say. There's no one better than you. <laughs> There's no one better than you. So cute. These are, that's the other reason I like these sentiments. I think I don't remember what kind this gnomes had, but I prefer these. Let's get rid of my trash. I've got way too much of it laying around all over my pin for my ribbon. I'm gonna step on that. That would hurt. Ouch. Um, this one is not going to really stick there, so what I'm going to have to do is use my scrap of paper. And, um, let's see. Let's try my pool party again. Let's hope my sentiment inks up a little better than it has been. Hmm, it's not very big. Oh, perfect. I hope you can see that. I can actually see it quite well. It looks 
plenty strong enough. I think that's good. Now this one we do have um those what were those stamps? They were called um sweetly scal no scalloped contours. That's what you were called. Not sweet. Oh, sweetly. Sweetly scalloped. Stitched so sweet. That's what it is. And it's kind of large. Let's see if it'll go, though. No, it's pretty close, though. I'm going to have to do a two-step on it, but that is going to actually cut that out quite nicely. So let's do that. And then I can show you what I'm talking about. I do this quite a lot. All of you with dyes know what I'm talking about. You end up having to cut it two times just to make it exactly the size you want. So you just end up, I'm gonna end up with a slightly longer die than that one is. I'm gonna just cut partial. And then I'm gonna flip it over and then cut the other side. Partial as well. Oops, I'm barely gonna get that in. Hmm, I'm gonna have to be careful here because I don't want it to go in like a cloud. So let's, let's bring it like that. I'm gonna just do barely, barely, barely to get the edge. <laughs> I'm not quite going to like that. I'm going to have to change my top because that's not quite going to work. Let's do this one for the actual top. Okay, we're going to go like that. I don't really want the sides so much, just that top. Just go down to about there. I'm ending up cutting this four times. Just to the edge, I just need that top. Okay, like that. Let me see what I'm talking about. Let's do this side the same way. This, I don't think stitched so sweet. I don't think this one's available anymore. I'm sorry, it's a really good one. I use it quite a lot. There you go. Now you've got a, kind of a funky shape, but it's actually right around the words. Um, we've got some sentiments that have dyes where it's cut right around the words like this, only even better, because they're actually cut like right around the words. And those would work really good too. Right. There we go. We're gonna go you. No, let's do you. We'll do the little one there. We'll do that one there. And that one there. How about that? Uh oh, I'm running out of glue. And like this. Okay, so um, what did the cucumber say to the pickle? Did anybody answer this? You mean a great deal to me. <laughs> There's a battle bot. Do you watch battle bots? There's a battle bot called Big Deal. It's very funny. Jeff and I love battle bots. <laughs> Okay, there's no one better than you. No one better than you. So cute. And last one. 
this one right here. We don't really need so much. We could just do like a happy Valentine's Day there, couldn't we? Um, but instead, ah, I've got a love you. Spring is everywhere is good too, but obviously this is Valentine's, so we're going to go with the, oops, what was that? Oh, that was my, get that put away. Love you. Will work really well. I think we're going to go with crumb cake on that one. It'll show up really well for one thing. Cute. I don't know how fonts can be cute, but it's a cute font. It is. It's a cute font. I'm going to like it. It has these little leaves. You can add in some more little leaves. Let's just go ahead. Give you a gander at what that looks like. This one is Parakeet Party. It's going to be very bright. Shield your eyes. Very bright. Okay, so you've got those little leaves. Oh, they're so cute. There's a cute little flower. I love this stamp set. Now, if you order um, $80, I have to go up to $80. $80 worth of stuff. I will send you a pack of embellishments. Embell embellishments now. I can't get a pack for less than 7 or $8. And then I have to ship it to you, so I'm terribly sorry. But that's just kind of the way it goes. You will also get free cards, but the better deal is to just go ahead and join our team. For your $99, you get over uh, about a 200 and something dollars worth of stuff. And... I will not bug you about selling things. I guarantee you. Don't do that. We have fun on our team. And um, we enjoy getting together for a little stamp meeting once a month. And uh, just encouraging each other with all the fun things we get to do in Stampin' Up! World. You always, from then on, will be able to save. Save, save, save. 20%. Let's put her on there too. She's cute. You will at begin to save 20%, but that doesn't usually stop there. Most of us save 25% on all of our stuff. So it's quite a savings if you're buying supplies for cards. Aren't those cute? So there you go. You've got all these cute little cards. And your cute little container that you can put them in. Wrap it up with a cute little ribbon. And there is your nice little Valentine's greetings for someone. Little gift to give to somebody, maybe on your team. Or to a relative who likes to send out cards. And... That was with friendly gnomes and some other stuff that I got out of my stash today. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure to have all of you. Appreciate it so much. Make sure you head over to my YouTube channel and subscribe. I'm trying to get my subscriptions up on YouTube. I'm hoping someday to actually leave Facebook and be able to just go to YouTube. Um, Facebook has some glitches in it. So I'd like to avoid that, but I need to build up my YouTube audience. So thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate it. You are very, very helpful and your encouragement is um, uh, treasured. So thank you so much. And um, I think that's it for the week. I will see you next Monday, at one o'clock here in Springfield, Missouri. Come and visit me if you're anywhere nearby and uh, we'll do a class. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.